All right, so we're going to start taking a look at page 591 in our workbook, which they call the second fundamental theorem of calculus. And it's the second time we've looked at the fundamental theorem of calculus. But as I've mentioned before, the result that we're going to be talking about is usually called the first fundamental theorem of calculus because we are studying them in the different order than the way it was originally proved. So let's take a look at this page in the notes. All right, so given these functions f of t, what they want us to do is to evaluate big F of x, which is the definite integral from one to x of f of t dt. And then we're gonna find f of x, and then they want us to take the derivative of it. Okay, so this is just gonna be a natural application of this. So big F of x, is equal to the definite integral from one to x of what f of t is, which is four t minus t squared dt. All right, so what I want you to do is to pause this video and see if you can evaluate this definite integral. You won't need a calculator to do this. Um, you can just find an antiderivative of that. So the antiderivative of 4t minus t squared, we're just going to use the kind of reverse product rule. That's 2t squared minus one third t cubed. And we're going to evaluate that from 1 to x. So all we do for that, this is just something we've been doing over and over again. The only thing here that's new is that we're going to be substituting a variable in uh, for this instead of a real number. So this will be 2x squared minus 1 third x cubed. And over here, we're going to substitute 1 in. So this is 2 times 1 squared, which is just 2 minus one third times one cubed, which is just one third. All right, and we can clean this up a little bit. So we've got that big F of X is equal to two X squared minus one third X cubed. I'm gonna keep them in this order. And then two thirds minus one third, we will write that as five thirds because two is six thirds, okay? So we've calculated big F of X like they wanted to. Now they want us to find the derivative of big F of X. So once again, pause the video and do your derivative skills. So this is just a straightforward application of the power rule. The derivative of 2x squared is 4x, and the derivative of negative 1 third x cubed, 3 times 1 third is 1, and then that just becomes x squared. Negative 5 thirds, that's a constant, so that goes away. And so we're left with the derivative of big F is 4x minus x squared. All right, you notice any coincidences that happened here? Maybe not coincidences, but so we started off with 4t minus t squared and we wound up with 4x minus x squared. So what happened was when we took this definite integral and then took the derivative of it, we kind of got back to where we started off with. Okay, we'll take a look at another example of this in problem two, but this is the sense of this new way of thinking about the fundamental theorem of calculus.